How to make a bootable USB using Rufus. Download it first from rufus.akeo.ie Click on the download and you'll eventually get the file come down in this format. Double click it and just extract it. There you go. Oh, that's already loaded. Uh, you extract the file out and then once you've got it that is the window it will come up with. It will recognize your um, USB drive. If you've only got one USB in there, it will instantly find it. But always double check with the file size that you're on the right drive. And keep these settings the same unless you're doing something specifically want something different. It's pretty much set up with the basic setup that you'll need. So what we'll need to do is find our drive image and I actually want to put Ubuntu on this one. So we'll try Ubuntu. I'm hoping this one isn't corrupt because I had a problem downloading it. And then once it's all set up, just press start. The image, yeah, that's fine. Start, it should be away now. I know what it is. It's, uh, I'll come back to this because my internet's a little bit slow. As you can see, I wanted a bit of other software off the net, so it's gone off to find it. It picked a bad moment because I'm actually uploading and downloading it at the same time because I've got some software for my VM where it's coming down and I'm uploading to YouTube at the same time. So. I'll pause it for now and I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like it's now asking for another file. Um, we want to write it as an ISO because generally everything we have is ISO. So we'll just click OK. All the data will be destroyed. It probably had a bit of an issue with it because it had VMware on the drive originally. Um, so it may have thought it was slightly different. But either way, the image is going on fine with my new Ubuntu. As you can see, it's a pretty fast piece of software. We're already about 60% complete. And I should expect this to be finished in less than a minute. 30 seconds. Now, once this is ready, all you have to do is eject it from your computer and it's now fully bootable to put into another PC and it will automatically install um, very quick and easy piece of software that makes life so much easier than trying to do it through a command line or CD or DVD because I don't actually have a CD or DVD drive anymore um, I do everything this way but basically that's it and we'll just let that finish but that's basically the process once that's finished installing just eject the drive and you're ready to go thanks for watching